obviously better than last year. Like, I was really disappointed last year to crash, but yeah, now it's fourth, second, third. I'm just missing that victory now. So it's, uh, but I'm really proud how I rode. I rode the best climb I ever did. Before, every other year, I was starting from too far behind. And this year, I really uh, rode aggressively from the bottom. And yeah, I really thought about it a lot. And that's, that's how you need to ride this climb. It's, being in the wheel doesn't really change much. You don't get a lot of effect from being on the uh, from drafting. So, but yeah, also me and Julian, we taught. And for me to win, I need to go with a long sprint. And for him to win, he needs a short sprint, you know? So yeah, we hoped that if I, if I didn't get a gaff, then Julian can maybe beat Alejandro in the sprint. But <laughs> second and third, it's fantastic for the team. Yeah, for Eddie's quick step, we've it's it's a great result, but yeah, we still we're disappointed to miss the victory. For Sunday it means you are in good shape again. It's my favorite races of the year, and it's really from the start of the year it's all, all been building to this. Even the results in Catalonia was a surprise for me because I was really focusing my training on being good here. So yeah, the fact that I was climbing so good was really uh, on the long climbs a bit of a surprise. But it explains why I won the stage in Catalonia. You know, I have that real explosiveness. But yeah, well. We can enjoy the results tonight, enjoy the two people in the podium. I mean, it doesn't happen very often. And yeah, when we, then we can think about, think about Sunday, where I think a lot more tactics comes into play. Having two strong guys in the final, it can be a, bit, a lot more important than having two guys in the final here when the strongest guy always wins.